Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for love, wealth, and health. This is going to be for mid-May. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So let's jump right in here. So first we're going to look at love, then wealth, then health. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with my Aries romantic love life for now until the end of the Show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need. Two. C. One more time here, Aries. Okay, let's lay it on the cards here. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Judgment. Oh my goodness, the Tower. The Three of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Justice card. The Eight of Wands. We see the Queen of Cups. Good job, okay. We got the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Four of Cups, we got the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna lay more cards on top of this, but let's see what the overall outcome is here. The overall energy for this the rest of this month is this person who is trying to be in a balanced way to try to coax somebody to, to have that strength, courage, and confidence, to be very nurturing and supportive. I know the strength card talks about strength, courage, and confidence, but I feel like it's like, all right, I want to make sure things are in balance with you. I'm trying to be nurturing and supportive to you. Okay, so I'm using my intuition. I'm also using the definitions of the cards. There is a person, again, we have these, these balance uh, symbols going on, right? So we see that there is a theme going on here where there's a want to bring this into balance. I feel like there's a spiritual balance happening for you guys, possibly also with the Magician card energy. Something is gonna be manifested here to bring things into balance, okay, with the Magician card energy. Because there is a want to get your attention, to have a victory here with the Six of Wands energy. You may not be aware of it, but this person is definitely trying to get your attention with the Six of Wands energy. Possibly because there's a Twin Flame Soulmate connection. So. Let's go to the first card, which is the blockage here. So the blockage for you guys is a choice needs to be made here with the Two of Wands energy. Okay, so it looks like the choice is being, paid, being based on what happened in the past. It looks like there is a couple of different good options here. I feel like there's one in particular though that you guys are really faced with, you're really looking to, that you really feel has a lot of weight to it. Okay, so it's like you're leaning more towards one decision than the other. But take this as it resonates. It could be your love interest that's doing this. Okay, so we see that there's a choice that's part of the blockage. Your influence here is the Eight of Wands energy. So there is something to do with some kind of communication or a lot of energy being put behind this. Okay, so when you think about the Eight of Wands, you want to think about uh, that's like our text messages, our you know phone call card. So. It, the influence is communication, okay? And a lot of communication possibly for some of you. Text message, Facebook message, but there's an influence of communication here coming in. Also, it could just be talking about there's a person that's really putting a lot of energy behind this situation, which is what's influencing your romantic love life. In the past, it looks like there was some waiting around, guys, with the Three of Wands energy. It was waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for the right time, waiting for things to happen here with the Three of Wands energy. All right, and you had uncertainty when this waiting was gonna be over. It was just like, I keep waiting, I keep waiting for the situation to happen, I'm not seeing anything. That's what I feel like from that particular card. It was like you were waiting there and you weren't seeing any evidence of anything happening, okay? So we see that the focus right now is the tower card energy. So, and I'm gonna clarify this just to get more information about this decision, about what this waiting is, about this communication. But the tower card energy is the focus. So something is gonna happen in your situation that's gonna be very shocking and surprising because it's saying this is the focus that needs to be right now. Some kind of big change is gonna happen for you guys. Something transformational. It's just gonna come out of nowhere, okay? And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna definitely shake things up here, okay? So that's the focus right now. And then we have the current, which is the Eight of Pentacles energy. Now the Eight of Pentacles is coming out and I feel like you guys are just focused on your money, your work, you know, the attention details. You're not really going outside much and you're kind of just focused in on getting some stuff done here with the Eight of Pentacles energy, okay? 
Also, there could be someone around you at the workplace also because it just seems like you're doing your work and then someone's just watching you. So I'm gonna have to get some clarity on that, okay? So we see the advice here is justice. Now justice talks about a just choice, a just decision, marriage, divorce. So obviously your advice is saying you're going to have to make some kind of decision here. Okay, so let's get more information. I'm gonna use the gypsy on this. And then we're gonna go down another layer as well. Okay, so what's gonna have my Aries romantic love life for now until the end of May? The cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to. Oops, what's the card that wanted to fly out there? Oh my God, we have the marriage card coming out, the wedding card. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so yes, this is the card of healing and recovery. So there's some kind of healing recovery going on and a sense of, you know, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on work. I'm going to focus on money. Okay. Or you're just, you're just getting over a situation here and we see there's a, you know, you're kind of just like, that seems like there's an energy of depression there also with that card, but I'm going to go further just to see. Also for me, this for the gypsy card, that can be very literal, okay? So we see there's a bed there, okay? So we're gonna layer one more on that just to see what that's about, okay? Okay, someone may want to uh, be passionate with you. Could be someone around work or school there with the eight of pentacles energy. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so we see the focus right now is spirits like, don't be sad about this. There's, a, you, you're having a lot of regret. You're looking at the past here but something is about to change for you guys in a big way, okay, with the tower card energy. And we see in the past, the reason why there was waiting going on possibly was because there was another person. If there wasn't another person, there could have been an infringing party because that's the third party card, okay? So it could have been a friend, it could have been, you know, family member or could have been a third person, third party situation, but there was somebody that was infringing upon the situation here and what was causing this waiting to happen. So we see that the Decision seems to be around travel. So some of you are dealing with a long distance situation with the travel card being the blockage, or some of you are ready to make a decision for some kind of big changes, okay? Where there's about to be a big change here, okay? It hasn't happened yet, but it's about to happen. Okay, so we see that your decision shouldn't be based on your despair about the situation, okay? Because it's saying it's showing me that there's some kind of despair here and something, someone, some sense of healing and uh, melancholy, sadness, okay? So you have to move away from this energy. Make this decision from a grounded place, okay? So we see that the influence seems to be a person, okay? This person could be single, okay? This is representing a single person, or it can represent somebody who's concerned about being used, okay? So. Keep that in mind, take it as it resonates. We see that there's this isolation or separation going on because of money and finance and someone who wants to be of service, but they're feeling really bad and sad because there's concern about this being like thrill seeking or a form of entertainment. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so what's going on in my Aries romantic love life right now until the end of May? Show me crazy to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's keep going here, Aries. All right, so we do see there's a soulmate connection, okay? Or relationship forming in the current, okay? Even though there's still this sense of healing here and really putting the work or effort into it, for some of you, I can see this another way too, is that there could be a relationship forming someone at, from someone at the workplace, okay? Or school, okay? And they may wanna take it into another place as well, like a passionate place there, okay? so. Let's keep going. All right, so we see, yes, yeah, spirits like you, use your intuition here. There's gonna be a big, huge changes. Yeah, there's gonna be, there's gonna be something that's gonna happen, it's gonna be beyond your control, okay? Which is really gonna shake things up in your, in your romantic love life. So in the past, there was a lack of knowledge or there was something secret here, okay, with the book card energy. Let me turn on a little bit more light here, guys. Okay. Okay, that gave a little bit more light. Okay, so we see that the blockage seems to be some kind of reconciliation or still some sense of healing here. Okay, your advice to focus on being grounded, okay? Nurture yourself, have self-love here, okay? So address your needs from a grounded place, okay? Not in a sense of despair when you make this decision, okay? And we see that there is obsessions going on here, okay? Strong desires, strong obsessions here. 
okay? And it looks like communication or a lot of energy being put behind this situation. At the bottom of the deck, we see wanting to be completely happy here or something that's gonna make you very happy because of some kind of romantic feelings. It looks like an ex-partner or another person could be involved and there may be something that's gonna happen with that to bring that into balance. Okay, so let's see now what's gonna happen here. So definitely Queen of Wands is showing me that you guys are very attractive, okay? So you're definitely radiating that energy out, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And it does look like things are about to align in your favor. We got luck on your side with the Wheel of Fortune energy. And there may be some offers coming in, okay? But you're still unsure if you wanna accept any of these offers coming in here with the Four of Cups energy. So let's go further on this, let's find out. Okay, you're having a lot of self-doubt here, but there is this joyful energy coming in and there is a person really thinking about you in the thoughts card, okay? You may even meet this person while out, hanging out, okay, celebrating here, okay? When the timing is right, the Wheel of Fortune card shows this because this, there's a lot of people that are having a good time. They're just hanging out, they're just enjoying themselves and it looks like there may be an offer coming in through that, okay? Because you see, like, what's going on here? Just look and see. The timing is about to align in your favor. Look at that offer coming in, okay? Four of Cups talks about you know, not wanting to miss an opportunity, something that's being offered that may not be accepted, but someone is thinking about you and I feel like the offer is gonna come in and you're gonna be like, I don't know, do I want this offer? Do I want this situation? Okay, because you're very attractive here, whether you know it or not. I know you're having a lot of self-doubt right now, but there is, you're very attractive and you're getting noticed, okay? And now things are gonna line in your favor. So going further here, you're gonna get some kind of letter message or document very soon because a decision is about to be made and we see what's the blockage right now some kind of choice all right and we see it's about to happen this could be somebody that you work with okay the money card is coming out here okay so this could be somebody that you work with because we see the eight of pentacles energy okay or there may be some huge potential here okay but the ace this is like the ace of pentacles for my deck so it's like some kind of huge potential for a long-term commitment something of value here is about to happen okay for you guys and then we see your tough cycle is gonna be over. Ten of Swords energy. And we see that's clarified. Yep, the death card is clarifying. This is coming to an end. This tough cycle is coming to an end. All right, so this person could be your friend here, okay, or in your friendship circle. You're gonna get clarity in the answers about this. The answers that you need are coming, okay? They do feel like they, they see you as marriage material, okay? Or they feel like there's an obligation here for them. Uh, they feel like they wanna help you out or they really, it's not more or less of an obligation. You know what the King, Knight, of, Knight of Cups energy is? Somebody wants to be romantic with you. But in this situation, this person's seeing you as like, man, this person's marriage material, okay? This person I can see like just wanting to do stuff for, to be committed to. And it looks like you're getting some answers about this. There is a little bit of defensive energy on your part. You're kind of cautious about this because you're still dealing with this defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? Because you're like, I don't know what kind of value I'm going to get from this. Am I, am I going to receive just a little Little bit of value from this connection so it's causing you a sense of confusion but you got some big changes coming in okay and there's still some things for you obviously that you're not decided about with this situation because you're still defensive you don't want to get hurt here but you are getting this truth you're getting these answers about this new connection it looks like it looks like somebody who could be a friend let's see the potential outcome here and you're obviously gonna have to make a decision about this okay so we see uh, you guys actually have potential. Some of you guys, this is meaning that things are going to roll in your favor, that you're going to heal from the situation, that there is going to you're going to go out with this person, you're going to have a good time, and you're going to try to overcome your challenges uh, and negative and unhealthy obstacles here. That you're going to try to overcome that when this that comes to the situation because you're still healing. For others of you, your potential here is to reconcile with a person. Okay, and it may cause some challenges and delays here because there could be more than one person then involved with the situation, okay? Because we do see the blockage is some kind of reconciliation or some kind of healing here, okay? So my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Now I am going to move into um, the career in finance here. So give me a minute here while I move this out of the way, okay? And let's do that right now. Bear with me, Aries, career and finance. All right, so it's gonna have my Aries, career and finance for now until the end of May. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. 
Okay, so in the current, it looks like you guys are in a joyful place. It's a sense of celebration here with the Three of Cups energy. You definitely have really good potential success here with the Sun card energy. It looks like you're going to be playing a lot of politics here coming up here with the King of Swords energy. In the past, it looks like you had a huge opportunity, a huge offer, possibly a bonus here, some kind of new beginning, a new start here that was really huge for you guys, Ace of Pentacles energy. It seems like you're just going to have to educate yourself, okay? You may have to go back to school with the Eight of Pentacles energy, or um, you're going to just have to put a lot more work and effort into the situation. So we see that's the blockage. And your advice is to take a leadership role and to do things that you feel are uh, the best for you, okay? When it comes to um, compassion and things that you love with the, the King of Cups energy. It looks like the influence here is the Ace of Swords energy. So it looks like, again, you guys are getting some kind of clarity coming up, okay? You're getting some kind of answers, okay? You're getting a victory. You're finally like, ah, oh, that's it. Okay, so we got the Six of Pentacles energy coming in. We got the Wheel of Fortune again, wow. We got the Five of Cups. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so again, the overall energy for work and finance, you're overcoming a tough cycle. It looks like you're going to have to fight for it, though, with the Five of Wands energy, but you will see the light at the end of the tunnel here because you're going to make some kind of good decision here. There may be a little bit of procrastination here, okay, but that's why I feel like the blockage is the Eight of Pentacles energy. So you're just going to have to... It looks like you're going to have to put the work or effort into it. Really pay attention to details, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles energy. So what's going to happen my Aries career and finance here from now until the end of May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Three of Cups is here. Yeah, there's a faithful energy, you know, loyalty to the situation, a lot of joy and celebration. You may have to work into a team environment because we've got Three of Cups. Or there's a lot of friends forming at this situation, or you guys are networking here with the Three of Cups energy. Okay, so your issue is there is a lot of self-doubt or there could be a person that's causing a little bit of issues here and spirits like, yo, you're going to have to play some politics here with this King of Swords energy, okay? In the past, yes, there were some huge changes that happened for you guys. And we see, yep, you guys are just, um, I know you're having concerns about taking on too much work or being used here because that's part of the blockage, okay? Um, it looks like you're going to have to be of service here to the situation. Um, we see that the advice is um, you are getting attention, okay? You are getting recognition. You are getting noticed, okay? So just make the best decision when it comes to, you know, taking a leadership role here and going towards things that you really love. We see that there's going to be some kind of meeting, okay, or uh, some kind of conference here. Uh, obviously, the room card is going to be a smaller meeting, okay? It could be a meeting or an interview here. Um, that's the influence here. It's going to give you some kind of clarity. So we see the Six of Pentacles coming out for what's going to happen here. Six of Pentacles tells me that there is a, you're getting some kind of money here with the Six of Pentacles energy. There's some kind of charity work. There's a, there's a sense of I'm, I'm giving my time, I'm giving my effort here, but it's not balanced. And then things are going to start to align in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune card energy. And there's going to be some regrets around the situation. So we see some kind of travel. Okay, you're doing some kind of travel with the Journey card or some big changes here towards a new beginning. And you're doing a lot of long-term planning and thoughts, so you're gaining knowledge here. Because of this knowledge that you're gaining, you are definitely feeling like really regretful about some things here with the Five of Cups energy. And we see you're waiting for your ships to come in here and you're having this conversation, okay? Where you're going to this conference, you're getting some kind of information here. Uh, this could also be the public. There is a defeated energy here, but it does look like when it comes to this socializing, having to like, you know, work the room here. And you're a little bit cautious about it with the Nine of Wands energy because of some kind of competition here. Okay. All right. So let me just sum this up here. Okay. So it looks like the rest of the month, there is some kind of travel that's going to take place for some of you. Okay. Towards a new beginning or a fresh start. All right. Or a small amount of travel here with the child card energy here. You're doing some long-term planning. You're gaining some kind of knowledge. So some of you are doing long-term planning. Okay. Others of you are educating yourself, maybe picking up a new skill because we see the Eight of Pentacles energy as the blockage. Okay. Um, it looks like there's some kind of conference. There's some kind of meeting going on. There's some kind of networking going on here. And uh, it looks like um, 
this is causing a little bit of issues here because of some competition, okay? Or somebody is causing you some issues. So coming back to your, what you need to do right now is play politics here with the King of Swords energy, all right? Just make the wisest decision, take a leadership role here, go towards things that you love. You are getting noticed and that's a problem for some individuals, so be careful about that. But if I look at the potential here, guys, of what's gonna happen, I have the sun card energy and I have the gift card. So if you guys are waiting for some kind of bonus, if you're waiting to get uh, you know, funding, okay, uh, that's gonna happen because we got the sun card coming out. Sun shows happiness, success, and the gift talks about receiving something. So you guys are receiving a bonus, okay? You're receiving some kind of money, okay? There's something of value coming out this, which is gonna lead to your success, sun card energy. So don't worry, I know that's gonna be a little bit trying, but play politics here. Be a leader, take a leadership role, and you know, you're gonna do you're gonna do fine, okay? Because you're gonna be fine. You have great potential there. All right, and you're gonna you're gonna get some answers that you've been needing here. You're gonna get clarity from this meeting here, okay? All right, my beautiful Aries. Let me now take a look at your health and wellness here. Okay, so can I have some advice for my Aries health and wellness? Show the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see just focus on being happy for this this month. And this actually is gonna help improve your health. And also understand that forgiveness, forgiveness heals. So let's talk about that. All right, so it's a lot of times it's about the state of mind, right? Stress causes a lot of harm to the body. So this month, just I know there's some trying things coming in here with the tower card for your romantic love life. And then also with this challenging stuff going on with work and finance, okay? So but don't worry, it does seem like in both case scenarios, it's gonna work out in your favor. So it's saying just focus on being happy, you know, be in the moment, and you're gonna improve your, your health by forgiving others. Because what happens when we get angry with somebody or we're resentful or we're energetically putting that somewhere, storing that somewhere in our body, okay? But when we forgive somebody, it energetically is released. So think about that, okay? So I know there's gonna be some trying people here in your situation, but give the, you know, just understand that this situation is gonna work out for you and just let it go, okay? Focus on a sense of joy here. I know it's easy, it's as hard as that is. <laughs> Taking the higher road on that. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two with your weeklies. Guys, have a great rest of your next couple days. There's multiple reasons you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.